That's good. He's good evening to all. I'm here again with the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School, which is at Blackman's in St. George. Looking down to Blackman's now. I will do a walk video at the Horace Hill in St. George. So I'm looking down to Bart Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School and towards Blackman's in St. George. Yes, guys, this is the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School, which was once referred to as West St. Joseph Secondary. So I will now start to walk to Horse Hill in St. Joseph. No? And the ready towers are as you know Blackman's development. That's good. The entrance to the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School, which was once West St. Joseph School. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Look at the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School, which was once West St. Joseph Composite. Uh, secondary school. Yes, guys. So I'm in the parish of St. Joseph, which is the smallest parish here on the island. And this is all the pasture for the Granny Adams Memorial Secondary School. And Blackman's Tenantry is the road to the below, to the left. Good evening. The road to the left will be Blackman's Tenantry. Well, the Adams Memorial Secondary School. And this is all Blackman's in St. Joseph. So I will now do a walk to Horse Hill. So this is the new Blackman's development. These houses here are to the front of the new Blackman's development. And the road here to the right will be to take you back to the new Blackman's development via McCollett Bridge and back to Easy Hall and back into the parish of St. John with Venture, Clearberry and Hackathon's Cliff. Yes, this water will take you back to the new Blackman's development, back to Hackathon's Cliff Venture, and into the parish of St. John. Looking back down to the Granny Adams Secondary Memorial Secondary School, and the new Blackman's development. This can also be referred to as Torville Road as well. So, this is the way to Horace Hill, St. Joseph. Horace is the way to Bash Horace is the route to Bashuba. I will try to see how far I can get in Horace. Looking back down on the new Blackman's development. All the new Blackman's development here, over here. Yes, guys. Looking back up to the new Blackman's development. 
and you can see the Grand Adams Secondary School again, which was once the West St. Joseph. And some may refer to it as House Hill as well. It was a West St. Joseph Composite School. And then it was later the Grand Adams Morris Secondary School. It was later renamed. Yeah, yeah. It was later renamed the Grandy Adams Memorial Secondary School in 1984. When Dame Billy Miller was the Minister of Education, she was responsible for the education, minister, uh, education sector in Barbados. And she renamed the school the Grandy Adams Memorial Secondary School. All the new Blackman's development. Watching Horace Hill. So again, St. Joseph is a part of the Scotland district of Barbados. The Scotland district, it is referred to as the Scotland district because it resembles the Scotland countryside and it is the part of the island with the most hills. The Scotland district comprises of the parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph and they are best referred to as the Scotland district because they resemble the Scotland countryside and they are the parishes of the most hills. So this is all the Scotland countryside here. And you know Blackman's development again. And St. Joseph and St. Andrew are the two eastern parishes. There are two of the eastern parishes. Are, the eastern parish of the island comprises of St. Andrew, St. Joseph, St. John, St. Philip. Now approaching Horace Hill with the St. Joseph Primary School. On Horace Hill is a very steep hill. Horace Hill was rather steep back in the days. Horace Hill was a steep hill. Uh, Horace Hill is the hill that will lead you into Bathsheba, which is on the east coast of Barbados, on in this um, in the parish of St. Joseph. So Bathsheba is the hill that Bathsheba is the, I mean Horace Hill is the hill that will lead you into Bathsheba and into St. Elizabeth as well. This is all a, it's also a part of the new Blackman development. This area can be referred to as Tamarind Hall as well. This is also a part of this is also Blackman's new road here as well. the Eric Holder Municipal Complex. If you guys know of Eric Holder in the United States, from the United States, he has relatives here in Barbados and in this same area in Bathsheba. He has relatives from this area in Bathsheba. So they decided to name a complex after him. The Eric Holder Municipal Complex where you'll come across the library, the Tamarind Hall. This is we first have Tamarin Hall with the library, the Bell Plain Police Station, which is for St. Andrew. Also moving here as long as St. Joseph, as, along with St. Joseph Police Station and the Magistrates Court. Also in here. Looking back down to Blackman's New Road. 
what I'll leave back at Adams School. But the way Granny Adams is one of our national heroes here in Barbados. He was the Prime Minister of the West Indies and Premier of Barbados. Born in 1898 and then in 1971. This is St. Joseph Primary School. On the left, and the Eric Holder Jr. Municipal Complex. To the right. There's also a branch of the Blue Machine Bank in there as well. Eric Holder Jr. Municipal Complex. You find the police station, the Madison's Court, the branch library, and all sorts of things in here. Now at Horse Hill. Horse Hill was a very steep hill. I always wanted to do a video of Horse Hill. A walk video. This is St. Joseph Primary School here. Looking back down to Blackman's. You know, Eric Holder Municipal Complex. Yes, guys, this is St. Joseph Primary School over here. farmland over here and the crossing for the school children Now approaching the two guys, Mini Mart and the hardware. Right here, the two guys, Mini Mart and hardware. This is all hard sale. Two guys, Mini Mart and hardware. There's also a two guys supermarket. And we got Small Hall, St. Thomas as well, on the way to Harrison Scale. And this is the two guys, Mini Mart and hardware. And this is where about the um, Blackman's new development and about the Easy Hall and Inter St. John's. Now we're approaching the steep part now. The part which used to give the vehicles all legs to get up when they, when, when they were coming from Bathsheba. This here used to give vehicles all legs. They level the road now. They put it, they, um, they cut the road so that they can, in the, in the late 80s or early 90s, they cut the road so that vehicles won't have issues to get up that hill. Once upon a time, Harsel was very steep. Too steep. This is the St. Joseph Outpatient Clinic here. St. Joseph Outpatient Clinic. Horse Hill St. Joseph, St. Joseph Outpatient Clinic. So yes guys, first of all I want to ask you to leave a comment please. Please let me know what you think about the video. Leave a comment, I would like some feedback please. So those who are watching, please leave a comment. This is the site of the St. Joseph Outpatient Clinic. Now approaching the stick part now. It's all Horse Hill. 
is the steepest part now. The part that used to get the vehicles all legs together. You can see all of the Bashiba on the east coast from here as well. So this is the steep hill. It still has a little steepness in it, but not as steep as it was before. Back up to Horse Hill. St. Joseph. So now I'm making my way down to Horse Hill. Down Horse Hill. And we'll end the video, or we'll try to end it by St. Joseph Parish Church. It's now defunct St. Joseph Parish Church, which is no longer operational. St. Joseph Parish Church closed its doors in 2011 because the lands down there were sliding. Lots of lands slid occurred in the Scotland district, both St. Andrew and St. Joseph. So the church was cracking too much, so they, they deemed the building unsafe, so it's no longer open for public worship. So I'm now walking down Harsu. Come back up to Harsu. And the road to the right will be Suriname Road that will lead you back to Naniki Restaurant and Best Life Resort. Naniki. So this is Horse Hill now. I'm walking down. You want to lead back to Naniki and back to Suriname Road. A look back up to Horse Hill again. So, Naniki and Orange Cottage is through here as well. Evening. Cottage bar and grill into there as well. So now coming up, coming heading down Harasu. Very steep hill. This is all Forest Hill in St. Joseph. That's crazy. No walking down Forest Hill.
Sini. All Forest Hill. Birds Village, you hear? I think this is the um, uh, Mommy Apple Tree or something so. More houses don't believe here. All horse here, get closer. All a gully behind. Evening. Yeah. That's good. This is Horace Hill, St. Joseph. And this is Vaughn Road, number three. And you can see all down to um. Saddle back ridge and upper parts and lower parts as well. Star pipe here as well. Yes, guys. I will soon conclude my walk of heart with Harsil, but it's in Joseph Parish Church. The now defunct St. Joseph Parish Church, we are portion there now. Okay, this is the cemetery for St. Joseph Parish Church. So again, St. Joseph is my mother's birth parish. The parish of my mother, aunt, and two uncles were born and raised. Further up in Banchbury. So yes, so this is the St. Joseph Parish Church here, and this is the cemetery wall. But even though the church is no longer in use, the cemetery is still in use. They still bury people in there. Good looking house here too. This is the cemetery here. Yes guys. Now down horse hill. St. Joseph Parish Church. That's where you list all this cotton district. And as I said before, the church no longer operates because the land here is slipping and the church is in a very state, bad state of disrepair. So they had to close the church in June of 2011. And this church is well noted for. Past Reverend, Reverend Messiah, who served this church for many years, Reverend Errington Messiah, who served as Reverend at St. Joseph Parish Church. And this is the final resting place of Winston Hall, who was a fugitive and criminal. This is the final resting place. Winston Hall was also from this area as well. So this is Horace here, and this is St. Joseph Parish Church here. Looking no hard still no, and this is the basketball court. This is known as Church Road through here. And this is St. Joseph Parish Church, and this is the church cemetery here. St. Joseph Parish Church. Now 
left abandoned and in a state of disappear. Thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening.